Hello, you guys. Hello, my pretties. How are you doing? It's the day before Halloween, and I am in a bathroom because I am tired. I've had a busy week this week, and I thought that we could just have a fabulous time together with a cup of tea. I've made some Scottish Highlands tea. Cheers, my dears. We are not really at our normally scheduled time on Friday. So I don't know if anyone if anyone's gonna show up. <laughs> it might just be me babbling to you in the future. Um, we are gonna have a fabulous afternoon though with some tea. And um, this evening I've got my studio circle on Zoom and it's Halloween themed. So I thought maybe you could help me get in the Halloween spirit and we can, you know, kind of figure out what it is that I'm going to wear and things like that. We're also going to play Pop Goes the Weasel in the Locrian mode. In the Locrian mode. So, how are you guys doing? There's four of you here. Thanks for being here. I was just waiting for you guys to show up, you know? <laughs> Do you like my bathroom? I've got my clothes underneath it, but I just got cold and I just felt like I needed to be cozy and snuggle up with a cup of tea. It's a very late afternoon tea. Um, let's see. I've got some fabulous ribbon so maybe we can put this around the bathrobe too if I can open it probably should have brought some scissors but I was, oops, I was not thinking <laughs> ahead enough to do that look at this fabulous ribbon I got this from the dollar store last year it's been sitting in my Halloween closet in my Halloween closet it's been sitting in my closet in a Halloween bag so it's been waiting for this moment. It's been waiting for this moment. Do you guys get hairs in your eyes? It is just the worst timing. I've just got a hair all of a sudden in my eye. This afternoon, I went to the grocery store to stock up on some groceries. And you know what? I think that if you can, I would definitely go stock up a little bit, especially before the election. Hello, Sri Rai. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> Um, when will I come to India? Oh my gosh, I would love to go to India. We'd go shopping in India. We'd go shopping and listen to sitar music and buy a scarf and a sari and go see the ancient temples. Oh my gosh, we would have so much fun in India. <laughs> and I love Indian food. So, one day, one day. Basically, I just thought we, I could be like a really ugly Halloween Christmas tree for you guys while we while we have some tea and just, you know, get in the Halloween spirit. I've got this lovely witch's hat, which you've seen before. You have seen this hat. I wore it to my psych to Psychic Bob's Witch's Tea last um, last Friday. There was a witch's tea party that he had on Zoom. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Psychic Bob is my um, psychic teacher. I'm taking a psychic class. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay, for all of you that need a good day, a good day is coming in three, two, boom, you're gonna have a fabulous day. <laughs> Voila, you are now in a bubble of magicalness and you're having a fabulous magical day and all these wonderful things are coming your way. It's happening. So anyway, let's continue. Um, I've got a bag of Halloween things in here. You guys know I love Talbots. That's where I get all my clothes from is Talbots. I have a Talbots problem. But anyway, all of my Halloween stuff is in this Talbots bag. I've got a very important scepter. Is this called a scepter? So you may... You, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> sure wrong. Oh my gosh, thank you. You said I look very beautiful. I think I just look a bit crazy. That's okay. But you know, that's fine. I've also got a crown, you know. Hello, Jeff. Do you like my outfit? <laughs> so I've got this Halloween crown, which goes with the scepter, right? In case I wanted to be King Henry VIII or something. I He actually wrote some music, and I've played some of his music, King Henry VIII's music. Um, I have... A little book of secrets <laughs> and within the book of secrets I have an eyeball. <laughs> you 
you know what I used to I used to put this on my music stand during Halloween to watch my students while they while they played in their lesson. I just always thought that was hysterical. Um, like, could you imagine you go to your music lesson and, then, and there's this like eyeball on the stand that's watching you, you know, watching every single mistake. So there's that. I also have a box of prosthetic appendages and some uh, orange, some orange uh, ribbon. I think we just need some more ribbon. So let's just put all the ribbon on. Let's just be crazy. Let's just be crazy and put on all the ribbon. Oops, my prosthetic nose and ears are gonna fall. How about this? What if I like tie it in a bonnet like this? I'm gonna like be lost under the ribbon. The ribbon. There, can you guys see me still? Is this okay? This is, it's all right? Okay. Let's have some tea, I think we need some tea. There's a little fruit fly that's flying around this room and I'm probably going to inhale him or her. Uh, I don't know where they came from. It might be from these flowers here. Look at these beautiful flowers. I have them on my little table there that's under my music stand. They keep me inspired for lessons and everything. Yeah. Are you guys doing anything for Halloween? Because tonight is our studio circle. Tonight is our Halloween studio circle. And I'm going to dress up as the Queen of Hearts. So, um, I've got my bag of Halloween things here. Bugs are a source of protein, says Jeb. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, I guess you better watch out, that little fruit fly, you know? Hmm. I just thought of a funny idea. I've got a little witch's hat here. You've seen this, you guys. How about we put the witch's hat on the witch's hat? So it's like a little pimple hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just feel a little bit like I'm not going to be able to really play very much with the viola. Let me show you my prosthetic ears and nose. Ooh. So last year, in my in Halloween video last year, I was wearing these ears. I got these from, I think it was Party City. And you just, you just put them on your ear. I'll have to, t I'll have to maybe put them on. I also have a witch's nose. This smells terrible though. I don't know that I'm going to be able to wear the witch's nose. Um, let's make sure there's no bugs in the nose before putting it on. It looks like this. I mean, I don't know that many people could get away with this, but I feel like I can. I feel like I can get away with this, especially like the great big like mole that's there. It's actually staying on my nose, which is so great. And here, let me keep my witch's hat on behind, maybe. Keep the witch's nose on. Um, let's try on those ears, let's try on the ears. There's actually some glue that I have, but I don't, I don't know that I can glue these on without the help of a mirror. So, Stardust. Oh my gosh, happy Halloween. You look like Nicole Kidman. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I exactly look, look like her, right? <laughs> uh, that's so that's so kind. Thank you. She's so glam. I love Nicole Kidman. You know, I love that show Bewitched, and I love her in the movie Bewitched. Whenever I need like a little pick-me-up, I have to watch that movie, Bewitched. Let's see, can I put the ears on? Maybe, okay, there. Hey, it's a good look for me. It's a good look for me, I think. They just slide over your ears like this, I think. Something, something like this. Oh, this is not going well, it's not going well. We're gonna play Pop Goes the Weasel in the low green mode, because I've been promising you that I would be doing that, I promised that I would play Pop Goes the Weasel in the low green mode. So if my ears and nose stay on, then we will be able to play it with them on. Let's see. That didn't make any sense what I just said. I was trying to say that I'm gonna try and play Pop Goes the Weasel with while wearing all this <laughs> in the low green mode. Um, Let's see, where is Pop Goes the Weasel? I'm using this book. This is my favorite book, you guys. 
if you're my student, you know this is my favorite book of all time, besides the Hour books and Shradiak. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Let's see. Uh, P. Pop goes the weasel is on page 83, I think. 83. You can get this on Amazon. Go get this on Amazon. <laughs> I can pass for a fairy, like an ugly fairy witch or something. Hmm? <laughs> uh, where is 83? 82, perhaps. No? There we go. 83. Pop Goes the Weasel. It says it is from England. This traditional ditty, familiar to all, has been around for some time. In addition to delighting generations of children, it has served to accompany country dances and endless rounds of musical chairs. Perfect. So um, it's in the key of G, it's in 6-8. I'm gonna play it normally and then I'll show you how to put it in the Locrian mode. This will be fabulous. We're also gonna need a cello drum. Let's see if I can have some tea. <laughs> Trying to keep my nose on while I have some tea. It's kind of a funny, funny look. Okay, it's just the tea is hot right now and usually I babble so much that by the time I'm done babbling it is no longer hot. So, let's see. Oh, this ear. Let's see if I can put this on again. Okay, I'm gonna just hold them while I grab the viola and put a G drone on. We need a G cello drone on. Let me see. It doesn't recognize me. My, my phone doesn't recognize me. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So uh, G, cello drone. Can you guys hear the drone? that stays there. Pop goes the weasel as written. write out the G major scale and then we're going to lower every single scale degree except for one and four. Okay. I just feel like a bizarre creature from another dimension or something. Oh, I feel so comfortable. I feel quite myself in this outfit. <laughs> okay, so to turn it into the Locrian mode, we're in the key of G. which has an F sharp, and I'm going to lower every single scale degree except, oops, except for one and four. Okay, so we're gonna have an A flat, a B flat, a D flat, an E flat, and an F natural. Okay, so let me put this somewhere that I can see it. It's gonna sound really weird. It's gonna sound really weird, you guys. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, I just really I just really like my outfit, okay? So uh, let me give the hand pattern. This song is really on the top three strings. So D, D flat, I'd have to use my fourth finger. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, You guys, are you there still? 
The internet crashed, so it's not ready for this moment. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope that this works. Pop goes the weasel in the Locrian mode. interesting variations on Pop Goes the Weasel. So, um, you know, one other thing that I was doing today was I was composing a song in the Locrian mode. Let's see. I was composing a song in the Locrian mode. So nobody, you know, don't get your hopes up or anything. Okay, this isn't going to work well. <laughs> I can't put it over my head. Have I lost my um, witch's hat? It's there still. It's still there. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if I can balance this. I pretty, I pre should probably put it over my head. Very carefully though, very carefully. Okay. Behold the Locrian mode. some words with this. So it's the presidential election that's coming up very soon. Um, and we could like make a funny, we could make a funny song about the presidential election. Like, um, uh, who political stuff. Um, but I did vote. <laughs> so I mailed it in. And I got a receipt for it, which was nice. I did get a receipt for it. Let's see if my tea is still hot. I don't know that I can keep my nose on for that. Did you like my song? <laughs> Thank you guys for humoring me. We just have fun, you know, we just have fun with, with the harp and with music. There's some people that really do play amazingly, but I don't know that I'm one of them. <laughs> so what are you guys gonna do for Halloween? Are you gonna do anything? Um, tomorrow I have a little Zoom call with my family and we're gonna have a little Halloween tea party. So I have um, my, my nieces and my brother and his wife live in England. And then uh, we live here outside of Philadelphia. My dad is in Arizona. So we're gonna have a little gathering together on Zoom on Halloween, and I'm gonna be dressed up. I'm sure that I'm hope I'm hoping that they'll be dressed up too, because then that will be fun. But I might I might bake something. You know, I might decide to bake some fabulous thing for Halloween. You know, um, I know trick or treating's probably not 
happening this year. But that doesn't mean that we can't eat, you know, a lot of candy and just have fun and dress up and be fabulous, you know. So I think that's probably what we'll do. I have decorated the apartment a little bit. Um, I've got a spider over here. Remember the spider? Remember my spider? You know, actually, a couple of my students in the studio have been bitten by spiders, like really badly bitten by spiders. It takes a very long time to recover um, when you have a bad spider bite. And it's best to catch it right away if you can. Very important to catch it right away. And it, it just happened while they were kind of outside raking leaves or um, while they, while, um, I don't even know, just, just um, in driving in the car, right? So, oh, you're going to go get gloves. You're going to have your gloves on and, and go get candy and Spock. <laughs> fabulous. That's fabulous, fabulous. You know what? I have a little bowl of candy right here. And I usually keep this uh, while I'm teaching because I might need like a little bit of um, sugar or some, some kind of food or snack between my classes that I teach. So, uh, but I, I don't usually eat them. I just like having it there just in case I get desperate that I need them. I honestly don't have the biggest sweet tooth, but I, I love chips and salsa. I can eat chips and salsa until the cows come home, you know, and I love really, really spicy salsa as well. That's the best. But sitting here, I have some chocolate covered ginger and these are quite fabulous, fabulous. I love ginger. Who else likes ginger? Do you guys like ginger too? I also have the blessed black licorice from Trader Joe's, and that's quite fabulous too. So, I think that's the only candy in the house, actually. <laughs> Do you like ginger? Yeah. I love watching your live streams. Thank you so much. Oh, you know what? Let's do another spell for everybody. So, for those of you that weren't here, I blessed you all with a magical day spell. So, um, let's see. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble, cauldron, bubble, and, and um, something, blubble. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I hear forth, bless you all with a magical day spell. Kaboom! <laughs> and uh, you are now surrounded in a beautiful golden bubble of sparkly, fabulous energy. It's coming your way. It is there. And you also have majestic violin and viola abilities. You've been blessed with magical musical abilities. And if you just, you know, channel from the universe, you'll be able to play anything that you need to play. <laughs> Hello, Nelson. I'm so, glad, I'm so glad you guys are here. I was thinking that because it's not our usual time that I would just be babbling to myself, you know, and that you'd be watching this. You have to watch this back in the future, you know. Well, I, oh, I haven't shown you my Halloween costume yet. We haven't gone through this whole box of things yet. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see. I also have some Halloween plates, which I probably should, like, you know, put some dessert on. If I, if I, I can use these for my tea party tomorrow. Remember I told you I have a tea party tomorrow, so on Zoom, um, with my family, so I, maybe I can bake something and put them on these. I have some house decorations. Oh, I also have napkins. I have napkins. These are from, these are from last year. They've all survived from last year. I have some house decorations of like witches' legs and things. But it's kind of a mess, as you can see, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just hang it somewhere like, like this, and that will be interesting. <laughs> so, um, but here, this is my Halloween costume. This is what I'll be wearing at our studio circle this evening. And I love, hopefully I can still fit in it. <laughs> hopefully I can still fit in it. But it comes with a crown. It's a fabulous Queen of Hearts gown. It doesn't come with this wand or whatever this is. I'm not sure what this is that she's holding. It looks really awesome. So I'm going to wear this 
and I think I've had this for at least a year or two, maybe two years. I really can't remember. Oh, I'm trying to catch your comment. Gotcha, violinist. In orchestra, we're playing the spirit of adventure come up, and it is like the hardest thing in the world. Oh my gosh. You didn't get a receipt for your vote, Stardust? I'm pretty sure that I did. I'm pretty sure like somewhere, like I got an email or I got like a, I just remember seeing somewhere that I got a, um, a something. Dress looks nice in the pictures. Yeah, this dress is really, really nice. So I forget exactly where I got it. I might have gotten it online. Um, I wear a, well, this is a size small a size small so if you were curious like if you want to get some discounted Halloween costumes after Halloween um, and you were kind of around my size it's hard to tell in a bathrobe <laughs> I look like a like a potato right now but I, I happen to I, hopefully I'm still able to fit in this because I won't have anything else to wear for the studio circle I'll just have to come like this weird troll from you know another dimension so that's that. This evening, we're gonna practice getting out of our comfort zone on the, on the studio circle. If you would like to join it, just go to Patreon. If you're a part of the studio already, you already got the link to that. It's always the last Friday of the month, and it's very casual. We have to practice getting out of our comfort zone, right? Right now, I am practicing getting out of my comfort zone. <laughs> um, and so, we all have to get out of our comfort zone when we, when we play the instrument too, you know? Because it's so easy to just practice in our room, but as soon as there's an audience, it's like, oh my gosh, it's very intimidating. And that's one thing that I do need to practice. So, <laughs> thank you, gotcha violinist. Yeah, it's a fabulous bathroom, isn't it? Anyway, I would love for you to join if you can. Um, if you're interested in like more lesson-related stuff, check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash violin viola masterclass. I'll be teaching some Zoom group lessons in January. Um, it's really geared for the violin. I know I keep talking about this, but I just want you to know that it's coming. And, um, sorry, I didn't get your comment. What violin? I've, I'm already played. I already, I think I already, if that's what you're asking, Nelson, I already played Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> um, I think those are all my announcements, you guys. I'm gonna let them leave you. Go get yourself some Harney and Sons tea. Harney and Sons loose tea is fabulous. It's very good for you, <laughs> loose tea, and it tastes very good. And go stock up if you know during the during this election time. Please go to the grocery store and get some extra food because who knows what's gonna happen. Not to be like the not to be morbid or anything, but you know just get some extra food, okay? I went and got some bulk grains and and some frozen things and some things I can, that's easy to store. That way you don't have to, you know, be battling crowds and things like that. So anyway, Mwah! happy Halloween, my darlings. Um, oh my gosh, Stardust, are you, do you go to um, Psychic Bob's, uh, Psychic Bob's um, Psychic class on Saturdays? Do you, do you go to that? Cause that is so awesome, I love his class. You guys, all of you should go to Psychic Bob's spiritual um, psychic class on Saturdays. You can learn. We're going to learn about channeling this week, and that's actually something I think that musicians do. I think musicians channel. So, um, <laughs> what Halloween tea? It's not. It's not Halloween tea. It's just. It's just Harney and Sons um, Taylor's of Harrogate tea, and not not Taylor's of Harrogate tea. It's Harney and Sons Scottish Morn tea. My brain is slowly turning to mush. I'm gonna love and leave you, darlings. Mwah. Happy Halloween. I'm getting very hot in this. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and thank you for keeping me company while I, you know, got in the Halloween spirit. Okay, probably I should like make this the, th the thumbnail like this. That would be the a good thumbnail. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Bye.